What is up guys, Tony here. Goober is going places, it's aggressively going up the charts and some claim it may even soon be number one. There's even rumours of Billboard apparently giving out free CDs from other artists when you purchase their songs just to make sure 6 9 doesn't get there. Ridiculous, I know. Love him or hate him, I think it's safe to say that his comeback has been explosive. Now I'm not here to judge, I just make beats. But do you think you can make a beat like Daniel aka 6 9 Hell yeah you can, I'll show you how. What I absolutely love about this beat is the first few bars. If this song started just with the melody with a simple low pass on it, before 6 9 comes in as the drums get introduced, it would just sound like every other beat out there. The fact that there's just a single kick getting pounded for 15 seconds straight while 6 9 screams on top of it creates this minimalistic sound and it's just long enough so that your ears get used to it and hence create a huge contrast that just makes you turn up so much more when the full beat and melody get introduced. Less is more in full effect here. So let's go into FL make a new project, I've got my color coding going on, so it's a beat for 6 9 what do you think the BPM is going to be? 69 beats per minute? Nah, keep dreaming, more like 178 BPM. So I like to start with putting some effects in just to give a bit of structure to the beat, nothing too crazy, just a few impacts, exhausts, or sweep downs, uh, however you want to call it. Then I opened up a silent and found this cool preset. So I was playing around my keyboard trying to recreate the melody and uh, I very quickly got the hang of it. It's a pretty simple melody and here's how it looks like. And in the piano roll. And there you go, that's the melody line. So. I'm gonna add a few layers and process everything up a little bit. And this is what I came up with. Not perfect, but good enough for now. Now I'm working on the drums. You always turn off use loop points. And this is what the drums in the beat sound like. Just fixing things up a bit. Now, for when the lead comes in, instead of just using a volume automation, you can open up a fast LP and create uh, automation clips for the cutoff and resonance, and that's how you can make it fade in uh, with a nice transition. Um, it's pretty good, but it's it's missing something and I know exactly what it's missing my favorite pad My favorite pad is an alchemy. Uh, it's a preset called uh, cinematic. So just copy paste the melody And I'm gonna play around with it until I get the exact sound I want Um, so it's a pad, but I want it to be almost like a pluck, but with a bit of sustain to it. So just adding it in. So now I'm looking for a cool bass sample, but I don't know which key we're in. So I just go back into the melody and try to play around to figure out which key we're in. 
So it may be hard since the plug isn't really clear. So when that happens, I suggest just opening up a basic piano and just try to find which note seems to be the root. Usually it's the first or the last note. So uh, more often than not, it's the last note, which is uh, a E sharp here. And we're in the minor scale. I'll try and play a cadence in E sharp minor. Yeah, we're totally in E sharp. So by the way, please don't pronounce this E hashtag. It's pronounced E sharp. That isn't, this isn't a hashtag, it's a sharp. So now I know I need to look for a bass and E flat. I noticed in Gooba the bass really isn't the most prevalent feature. So it just really kind of sits in the background and it's not too loud. Don't forget to always layer your kick with your bass, uh, especially if you're going for that uh, minimalist vibe. Since it's the only thing you have going on, you might as well make it right. Just structuring things up a little bit. Now, one more thing is, I noticed that the bass changes during the break. Um, so you wanna duplicate your bass and uh, bring it an octave higher. I feel like it just hits a wee bit too strongly here. So don't be afraid to go change the envelope of the sound. Here I'm just making the attack a bit softer. So that's not enough, and since there's no kick, we might as well just get rid of that rhythm and have longer notes going on. So this is what the updated bass for the break sounds like. And that's about it. Now let's have a look at what we've made. Hope you enjoy this, and peace.